Theme parks around the world usually have the same things to offer. Roller coasters, water rides, Ferris wheels, and a few other predictable rides. But sometimes the thrill and the weirdness is taken up a notch, and you end up with the theme parks on this list. In this video, we're giving you a roundup of the best theme parks in the world. Let's begin. Let's start with Evermore Park. Located in the city of Pleasant Grove in Alabama, the Evermore Park is a magical escape from the rest of the world. The park opened in 2018, and since then, it has remained a huge attraction for the whole world. Featuring futuristic, modern interiors, Evermore Park was built by its founder, Ben Brettschneider, as a form of escapism that takes you into a world of fantasy. He has heavily invested in Victorian-styled props, costumes, and decorations to ensure that the experience at Evermore Park remains one of a kind. The park is an extremely immersive experience, where you're thrown into an interactive world where everyone has to quickly adapt to certain roles. With new themes being introduced every month, the entertainment options at Evermore never really end. This unique role-playing experience is truly different for everyone. Once you choose your adventure at Evermore, you decide where you want to go with it. This is what makes Evermore one of the most interesting theme parks in the world today. Up next is Patriot Park. Patriot Park is a riverside theme park that pays homage to Russian wartime veterans. Located within 16 acres of land in Kubinka, Russia, the park isn't one of the biggest in the world. However, it really is one of a kind. Working on a first-come, first-served basis, Patriot Park is the perfect escape from the outside world with its beautifully built pavilion and gazebo areas. One of the park's key features is the Kubinka Tank Museum, which houses a collection of armored vehicles from different countries over the world. Along with tanks and other vehicles, the museum also includes all kinds of ammunition, Russian and Soviet warplanes, and aircraft. The park also features interactive zones for people to get insight into all the wars that Russia has been involved in. Featuring a shooting range and an interactive guerrilla village, the Patriot Park offers an insight into history, as well as a space for families, children, and adults to relax and indulge in picnics, games, and even sports. Now we have Crocosaurus Cove. Located in the city of Darwin in Australia, the Crocosaurus Cove is an amusement park that gives visitors an extremely up-close look at the country's famous reptiles. The main attractions of this park are Australia's great saltwater crocodiles. Visitors of the Crocosaurus Cove get to experience interactive shows about Australia's wildlife and also provide provide adventure seekers with an opportunity to join in the deadly Australian crocodiles for a swim. The ticket prices start from $36, which is pretty cheap for all the options this theme park has to offer, with a cafe, an interactive center where you can feed and play with all sorts of reptiles, and the famous Cage of Death, which is Australia's only crocodile dive. The Crocosaurus Cove is definitely one of the most unique and dangerous theme parks in the world. Next on the list is Dwarf Empire, also known as the Kingdom of Little People. China's Dwarf Empire theme park was created in 2009 and has since then employed over 100 people with congenital conditions such as dwarfism as employees and performers. The park feels like a tiny-sized fairyland as soon as you enter it. The performers wear mystical outfits and put on shows where they sing, dance, and even sell refreshments to the guests. The park was created by Chinese business mogul Chen Ming Jing as a way to increase employment opportunities for lesser privileged people. With salaries that start at 800 yuan a month, the Dwarf Kingdom is a special place for people who have never belonged anywhere. The workers are provided with specially constructed accessible dormitories where they can retire to after a long day of work. Because of its unique approach, the Dwarf Empire attracts thousands of people from all over the world, making it one of the most popular and inclusive theme parks in the world. And now for Diggerland. Diggerland in West Berlin is one of the UK's most famous theme parks. Serving as a place of entertainment for adults and children alike, Diggerland will help you live out all of your fantasies of being a strong construction worker. The founder of the park, Hugh Edeleno, who is one of Europe's largest construction machinery suppliers, was inspired to work on Diggerland when he realized how fascinated children are with his machines. However, the park is a lot more than that, featuring over 20 attractions that include rides, kid-friendly construction equipment, and over 100 rides with additions every year. Diggerland truly provides a fun, immersive experience for the entire family. You can choose to ride on a digger or a dumper truck, the dig-around carousel, participate in several team building activities or just taking the view of the city from the sky shuttle. With this interactive theme park, the entertainment options never end. Since the year 2000, Diggerland has been attracting people from all over the world and is currently one of the greatest theme parks in the world. Up next we have Grutas Park. The Grutas Park is essentially a sculpture park that's located in Lithuania. Featuring communist era statues and memorabilia, this park not just offers its visitors an outdoor escape, but it's also a standing testament to history. Among its bone-chilling features, the Grutas Park 
artifact features graves of Soviet soldiers, along with sinister-looking mannequins and statues. Right at the entrance, visitors are met with a replica of the train that was used to transport people to death camps during World War II. The park features statues and information about many communist heroes, and offers a rather gruesome insight into their lives during the war. Quite opposite to all of this, the park also features a small area with kids' rides, making it feel like Disneyland, but for communists. With trails that go into manicured forests and paths lined with statues of people like Lenin, Stalin, and Marx, this park is definitely not for the kids, but it is definitely an informative experience for those who are interested in exploring the history of the USSR. And now on to Hopar Villa. Hopar Villa is a culture-based theme park located on the Pasir Panjang Hill in Singapore. Inspired by Chinese folklore, the Hopar Villa is an unforgettable journey into the legends and mythology that surrounds one of the oldest cultures in the world. For history enthusiasts looking for an interactive way to engage with China's rich tradition, the Hopar Villa is definitely a must-visit spot. The park is famous for its artistic depictions of famous Chinese tales, like the Ten Courts of Hell. Other than that, the park features over 1,000 statues and 150 dioramas that bring all kinds of Chinese folk tales to life for those that want to reconnect with their culture and traditions. The Hopar Villa, with its cultural groundwork and immersive experiences, combines tradition with entertainment, making it a fun experience for all kinds of people. The park provides informational tours to all those who visit, so even with no background knowledge, you can expect to come out of the Hopar Villa with full insight into Chinese literature, traditions, and customs. Next is Alien Apex Resort. If you believe in aliens, the Alien Apex Resort in New Mexico is definitely the place for you. Located in the small town of Roswell, this park attracts thousands of visitors every year and fully cashes in on the mystery and obsession that surrounds aliens. The Alien Apex Resort promises to give all its visitors a complete dose of all things extraterrestrial. One of the highlights of this unusual park is an indoor roller coaster that simulates an alien abduction, prompting several people to ride it over and over again because of its unique experience. The park covers around 60 to 80 acres of land, and in addition to various space and alien-themed rides, it also features an exhibit hall with scientific discoveries on aliens and UFOs. This sci-fi-themed park is definitely one of a kind, offering its visitors an experience that is truly out of this world. Finally, Park Eco Alberto. Located in Alberto, Mexico, is the Park Eco Alberto. In addition to its beautifully maintained gardens, rivers, and general outdoor spaces, the Eco Alberto is known for offering something that you will never find anywhere else, at least not legally. This park offers its visitors a four-hour-long night hike, which ends with an experience that mimics what it's like to cross the Mexican border into the USA. Of course, there's no actual border and no laws are broken, but the park has managed to replicate this very process extremely seamlessly, featuring treks that are difficult to cross and can also potentially injure the hikers. The stakes are high with Park Eco Alberto. The hikers also have to hide from authorities as they make their way across the fake border, making the entire adventure as realistic as possible. While it might seem like a thrilling experience, the idea behind this theme park is to help people understand the trauma that many families go through when they make the choice to leave their homes. Along with fun and adventure, what Park Eco Alberto does best is to inculcate a sense of humanity within all of its visitors. That's a wrap for Top 10 World's Weirdest Theme Parks Ever Created. Which one of these would you want to visit in your lifetime? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.